Dear students, welcome to our class on Blaney and Credill method. Based on scheduling derivation, try to recollect. Uh, we have discussed already Blaney and Credill method, and now based on that, how we can schedule the irrigation. This is the practical application of Blaney and Credill method. Before I go into the class, a small quote to inspire you: Change yourself, change yourself, and Fortune will change automatically. So, with this small quote, let's go straight into our class uh, of transformation, uh, determination, or excavation. Climate logical approaches we have discussed. Of them, number one is uh, Blaney and uh, Cradle. Blaney and Cradle 1950 observed that uh, the amount of water consumptively used, consumptively, there is a, there is a, and there is a difference between heat and consumptive use. Consumptive use, okay. It means you know both uh, evaporation losses, transpiration losses from the crop. Consumptive means the amount of water stored in the okay <coughs> above ground and below ground parts of the crop. That is the consumptive use. Of course, Blaney and Cadil 1950 have uh, proposed an excellent uh, concept for taking it to uh, the advantage of uh, the amount of water stored in the plant parts. That's what they told. Of course, the equation we have discussed, we have taken U, seasonal consumptive use of water by crop for a given period in inches. U, monthly consumptive use. K, empirical seasonal consumptive use. Coefficient F, sum of the monthly consumptive use factor. Empirical consumptive use is K. Okay. Mean monthly temperature degrees for heat. Monthly daylight hours is P. Okay, that's what they for ETO expressed in millimeters per. That's what very important. ETO reference of our transpiration. When once uh, we multiply ETO reference crop evaporation transpiration with the crop coefficient KC, we get the uh, millimeters per day of the evaporation transpiration. And the equation also we have discussed here. P the mean daily maximum minimum temperature. And P, the mean daily percentage is very important as far as uh, uh, determination of uh, the mean daily temperature. T mean is concerned, sum of all T maximum values during the month divided by number of days of the month. T minimum, similar, sum of all T minimum values during the month uh, divided by number of days of the month. T mean is T maximum plus T minimum by two, just like uh, now. The determination of uh, the mean daily percentage of uh, annual daytime. Hours. So it's very interesting to determine the p value okay? that is the daily percentage of annual daytime hours okay okay determination so p value is uh, of course uh, essential to know the it is essential to know the latitude first the number of uh, degrees either north or south of uh, the equator suppose p value for a month of march okay uh, has to be determined okay for uh, an area with a la latitude of 45 degrees south from table it can be seen the value p of march is 0.28 that we take it now once we know both t and uh, p values uh, we get the millimeters per day of uh, of our transpiration based on the above the irrigation is scheduled to the crop the way you know you know daily we put water to our plants in the home the evaporation and transpiration Similarly, 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 we take, but only wonderful point uh, that Ben and Cadil Mather has is uh, he has taken not only operation transpiration, but also the water. This is what I would like to discuss with you. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Once again, the quote of the day, change yourself, change yourself and your fortune will change automatically. Thank you very much. May God bless you.